Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the values of x that satisfy this logarithmic equation. Now, to solve this problem, the first thing I am going to do is to get rid of this fraction on the left-hand side of the equation. And of course, to do that, I will multiply both sides of this equation by this denominator that is log to base 5 of x. Now, when I do this, on the left-hand side, we have log to base x of 4x to the power log to base 5 of x plus 5. And this is going to be equal to 2 times log to base 5 of x. Now, look at this equation and recall that when we have an equation that looks like log to base a of b is equal to c, that this simply means that a to the power c is equal to b. That is, a to the power c is equal to b. Of course, in this case, a is x. c is 2 times log to base 5 of x. And b is this expression. So we can rewrite this equation in the form x to the power 2 times log to base 5 of x. is equal to 4x to the power log to base 5 of x plus 5. Now, of course, you know that we can write this left-hand side as x to the power log to base 5 of x squared. Because to get rid of this bracket, all we have to do is to multiply these two powers. And when we multiply this by this, what we have is 2 times log to base 5 of x, which is exactly what we have here. And of course, on the right-hand side, we still have 4 times x to the power log to base 5 of x plus 5. Now look at this equation. Here we have x to the power log to base 5 of x. And here we also have x to the power log to base 5 of x. So let us do a substitution. Let x to the power log to base 5 of x be equal to the letter d. Now with this substitution, we can rewrite this equation as d squared is equal to 4 times d plus 5. Rearranging this equation, we have that d squared minus 4d minus 5 is equal to 0. We can factorize this quadratic equation. Since the coefficient of d squared is 1, all we have to do is to find the factors of minus 5 that add up to minus 4. And of course, those are going to be minus 5 and plus 1. Because minus 5 times plus 1 is equal to minus 5 while minus 5 plus 1 is equal to minus 4. So we can factorize this left-hand side as d minus 5 multiplied by d plus 1 is equal to 0. And of course, from here, you have that d minus 5 is equal to 0 or d plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, when we add 5 to both sides of this equation, we have that d is equal to plus 5. And when we subtract 1 from both sides of this equation, we have that d is equal to minus 1. So now we have two values for d, plus 5 and minus 1, which simply means that either x to the power log to base 5 of x is equal to 5 or x to the power log to base 5 of x is equal to minus 1. But of course, we know that there is no real value of x that is going to satisfy this second equation. So this equation is unacceptable. So finally, you can see that we have reduced this original equation into the more simpler equation, x to the power log to base 5 of x is equal to 5. 
And of course, to solve this equation, we are going to take log of both sides of the equation. Of course, we will work in base 5. So we have that log to base 5 of x to the power log to base 5 of x is equal to log to base 5 of 5. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to apply the power rule of logarithms to this left-hand side. That is the rule that says that we can bring down this exponent, the exponent of x, to the front of this log term to become a multiplier. When we apply this rule, we have that log to base 5 of x, that is this exponent, multiplied by log to base 5 of x, that is this, is equal to log to base 5 of 5 is 1. So, on the right hand side, we have 1. So, of course, you know that this simply means that log to base 5 of x squared is equal to 1. And to solve this equation, we take square root of both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have that log to base 5 of x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1. So we have that log to base 5 of x is equal to plus or minus 1. Now, you know that this simply means that 5 to the power plus or minus 1 is equal to x. So we have that x is equal to 5 to the power plus or minus 1. So we have that the two values of x that satisfy this logarithmic equation are x equal to 5 to the power 1, that is 5, and x equal to 5 to the power minus 1, that is 1 over 5. Now let us check our answer. So when x is equal to 5 and log to base 5 of x is equal to 1, the left hand side of this equation is log to base 5 of 4 times 5 to the power, log to base 5 of x is 1 plus 5 divided by log to base 5 of x is 1. Of course, this is log to base 5 of 4 times 5 is 20. 20 plus 5 is 25 divided by 1. Now, this is log to base 5 of 5 squared. Remember that log to base a of a to power b is equal to b. So log to base 5 of 5 squared is equal to 2, which is exactly what we have on the right hand side. So this value of x satisfies this logarithmic equation. Now when x is equal to 1 over 5 and log to base 5 of x is equal to minus 1, the left hand side of this equation becomes log to base 1 over 5 of 4 times 1 over 5 to the power minus 1 plus 5. And of course, this is divided by minus 1. Now, from here, we have log to base 1 over 5 of 1 over 5 to the power minus 1 is equal to 5. Because you know that because of the negative sign, we take the reciprocal of what is inside the bracket and the reciprocal of 1 over 5 is 5 over 1. So here we have 4 times 5 plus 5 divided by minus 1. Now from here we have log to base 1 over 5 of 4 times 5 is 20 plus 5, 25 divided by minus one and of course we can write this as log to base one over five of one over five to the power minus two remember that because of this negative sign we are going to take the reciprocal of what is inside the bracket and the reciprocal of one over five is five so here we have 
5 to the power 2, which is exactly 25, which we have here. So written in this way, we still have divided by minus 1. And then we go back to this rule. Log to base A of A to the power B is equal to B. So log to base 1 over 5 of 1 over 5 to the power minus 2 is equal to minus 2. So this is equal to minus 2 divided by minus 1. And of course, minus 2 divided by minus 1 is equal to 2, which is exactly what we have on the right-hand side of the equation. So this value of x also satisfies the logarithmic equation. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can watch more videos here.